Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have reported regarding the iron beam test by Israel. This has placed Israel as the first country in the world to succeed in using powerful laser technology to develop working air defense system and to demonstrate interception in operational scenarios. Earlier Israel had also shot down a flying drone from a plane armed with direct energy weapon. Now DRDO Center of High Energy System and Science or CHESS has issued an RFI for the operation and field maintenance and repair of a fixed wing unmanned aerial system. This fixed wing unmanned aerial system is used by DRDO for various field experimentations and demonstration of direct energy weapon systems being developed by CHESS. Direct energy weapon is one of the most security project of DRDO in which it is working silently. DRDO has developed various direct energy weapon system regarding which we will discuss in detail and try to understand where does DRDO stands in terms of developing this critical technology. A direct energy weapon is designed to burn its target with highly focused energy beam which can be a laser, a microwave and particle beams. According to US think tank Lexington Institute, direct energy weapons have several advantages over conventional munition. First, they transmit lethal force at a speed of light, almost 3 lakhs km per second. Second, their beams are not affected by constraining effects of gravity or atmospheric drag. Third, they are extremely precise. Fourth, their effects can be tailored by varying the type and intensity of energy delivered against the target. And fifth, it is very cheap. The direct energy weapon and radio frequency jammers are going to rule the next generation weapons for defending against unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. These direct energy weapons also called as DEW rely on spark gap based system. Under this method, two conducting electrodes are separated by a gap usually filled with a gas such as air designed to allow an electric spark to travel between conductors. Radio frequency weapons work on electronic components of missiles and radars, basically any device emitting or operating under radio frequency. The DRDO's mobile directed energy laser system or DELS laser beam combination technology has been used for generating the desired power for shooting down drones and beings modified for shooting down rockets, mortars, similar in capability of Israel's iron beam. It features an electro-optical sensor to track the targets and dual laser beam is used to neutralize the target. As per the latest report, DRDO is working on development of 10 kW proof of concept direct energy weapon system. DRDO is developing technologies of precision tracking, pointing and use of laser beams to neutralize the UAVs. Between January 2018 and March 2019, DRDO has silently conducted tests for detecting and tracking of mini drones hexacopter with battlefield surveillance radar and queuing to a 10 kW DELS system. Testing of radar interfacing with 10 kW DES system was carried out with 10 kW DES radar interfacing simulator and air defense fire control radar Atulya at BL Bengaluru. Target acquisition, tracking and laser pointing of 10 kW anti-UAV laser weapon or AULW system were carried out on flying drone at DRDO's Hyderabad based lab up to a range of 0.7 km. DRDO is also working on another laser project called Durga 2. In the financial year 2021-2022, DRDO had requested $100 million budget to produce a high power laser weapon. The classified project is dubbed as Durga 2 or directionally unrestricted ray gun array aimed to develop a 100 kW lightweight directed energy system. As per a senior DRDO scientist, the Durga 2 program is in the concept stage and DRDO is developing and improving various laser generation techniques using solid state, fiber and chemical lasers for defensive and offensive use. Durga 2 is to be integrated with land, sea and air based platforms. Around 50 defense scientists have been charged with developing the new directed energy weapons. 
the organization also aims to start work on non-nuclear electromagnetic pulse technology. The Laser Science and Technology Center is a lead laboratory in this effort and is currently engaged in development of multiple laser technologies using chemical oxygen, iodine lasers and high power fiber lasers. The center has so far made a 25 kilowatt laser that can target a ballistic missile during its terminal phase at a maximum distance of 5 kilometers. DRDO has also taken up a project to develop high power microwave HPM system of radio frequency whose power lies in the S band of electromagnetic spectrum. The HPM will be able to neutralize and fry the electronics of the drone from a distance of 5 kilometers. During June 2018 trial, the indigenous Marx generator was tested for up to 300 kV and 20 Hz frequency and excellent performance was obtained with this. These generators are used to generate the high power microwaves. The military application for the compact HPM system is extensive given the potential threat posed by the missiles. These systems will also be integrated with land-based mobile vehicles and larger transport aircrafts once they are matured. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.